and we back, and we back, and we back. Uh, well, well, this is the AKPC weekly roundtable. We're like, we got Corey coming in later, but we got we got Sterling Silver. We got Matt Yarl. We got me. I'm the star. No, <laughs> I'm the Michael. No. Uh, so how you guys been, man? Been doing well, honestly. Yep. Things are going well here, too. Yeah, oh, man, we we have a pretty uh, interesting week. Yes. Did you, did you guys hear they're pushing back the uh, they're pushing back all the Do- Destiny of X books like a month. Hello. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that'd be good. Uh, let's see, because we might not necessarily need a break, but maybe we just kind of need a nice like uh, like a separation for a little bit. So I, I like I'll see how that goes. I wish we could have had that for Trash or Wolverine. Because you didn't need you didn't need to read one or to, you didn't need to read them both at the same time. Well, I think by the end, like they might have tried to justify it because it's, it's strongly hinted that like this is leading to like the eleventh life. So <sighs> like uh like the so Moira might be having a uh a uh what's it called a, a face a, a, a face turn. She might be turning back into the good guy. Oh, pl- you know what? No, okay. Moira has been doing this type of thing forever. Like mm-hmm. nobody wants to, no one wants to go back and read the old books. She's always had a secret. So <laughs> like, hey, okay, um, jumping right into it. Yeah. Mortal X Men. How yes. do we feel? Like it, Kieran Gilliam returns. What a huge guess. Yes. I love uh, it. Oh, uh, MJ, <laughs> you can go first. Uh, yeah, no, I I, I loved it. Um. I, I got to admit, I didn't finish Life's and Deaths of Wolverine. I didn't like it. You, you, have, ta- you have taste, okay? Yeah, I've gone, um, I, went and, I went and read uh, Mr. and Mrs. X. Phenomenal. <laughs> I love Kelly Thompson. So I, I told her on I Twitter. Like it. With, I don't know what happens with Moira, but uh, this was a good getting back into comics for me, this one. Yeah. It was... I kind of like the focus on Sinister. I hope it's not always focused on Sinister. Right. This guy. I, I, I think it's going to be like talking about a different perspective every book because like we can't just have Sinister. We got, we're nice. supposed to get in the heads of everybody. That'd be, that'd, be nice. that'd be nice. I liked um I liked the issue a lot. I liked it. I didn't love it. And I get I uh, we talked about this a little off camera, but I'll say again. I liked it. I didn't love it. Like the ending was a bit like the end, the twist end I liked a lot. I was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um I did enjoy, like I said, I enjoyed most of the book. Uh they the same one of the same tropes they used in uh trial of Magneto they used here. So I'm like, nope, that's a cop out. And then another thing was that I did not uh enjoy too too much was uh excuse me was uh kind of how they got to picking like the next member and i was just like ah like that could have maybe that could have used like another issue or two to like really get into it because they're just like it's kind of the same it's the same issue as last time being forced into a position and a particular character i feel should have objected to it and they did not i'm like well like be consistent when it gave us time to because if this is your first jumping in point, you don't know why Magneto is angry and, and right. mad and, and why he should step down. Ba- based off Exodus and whatnot, it seems like Mag- they gave no reason for Magneto stepping down. Actually, the, the only reason they give is that his plan failed. Not that his plan would have resulted in the death of all mutant kind. Not the right. death, but the depowering of all mutant kind. That's the why. That's why he's stepping down. Not because his plan failed, but because his plan was horrible and betrayed everything he stood for. Mm. Uh, well, you know the thing about it was, like uh, Silver, we talked about this off uh, before. Like Emma, like she yeah. was super hard on Magneto. It's like, and the fact that no one has uh, pointed out that uh, she's. She does that all the time. She does it all yeah. the time, and no one ever uh, calls her out on it. So it's just right. it, it's, it, it was, yeah. it was acting so hurt. Like, why didn't he? Like, she would have been okay with the Moira thing if she was in on it from the beginning. That she wants to be seems like it, but yeah, yeah, seems like it. it's almost as if. But like, I mean, at this point, it's like the question is like, why do you think? 
like the way they're writing her character, which at the end of the day, she is like a bleeding heart. She does like care about mutant kind. Kind but of. even then, like the question, yeah, I mean, no, I think, I think they've like, I think they definitely changed. Like, she's definitely like, they've, they've leaned into her being a teacher, but they do want, but she does seem to be like, you know, kind of like for the, for the children and the children by extension is mutant kind. So I really, I really enjoyed that aspect. When I, like I said before, I don't enjoy the fact that, that they don't, people don't call her out on her hubris. Cause once again, she is a dominatrix uh, telepath with, who is conniving. And she uh, gets upset when she's manipulated, when like legitimately her power set is, is manipulating people and her mindset is manipulating people. So it'd be one thing if like Magneto, if her and Magneto got into it and then Magneto says basically, you just don't like that you're not always gonna be the manipulated or like the, the, like the manipulator. And I'm like, that's a good opportunity because once again, one of the best things that characters have is flaws because they learn they either learn to them or like that's unbecoming of them. And I'm just like, you, you could have, done a little bit more to like kind of like squeeze that in there and i just kind of they're just kind of like oh no it's the it's the hate magneto show and i'm like ah come on man uh, also one thing i don't um the beginning with mm-hmm. destiny and sinister and uh, with mystique having a cameo yeah <laughs> it kind of it kind of says that De- how old is destiny i like, think well i mean it said 1919 so it seems uh, well, she was a grown woman like, yeah. Real quick, that's one thing I like is they're establishing that the modern X Men is at least 2020 to to to, to further ahead because yeah, dead over a hundred years at 2019, so that's yeah. 2020. Yeah. So okay, so, hey, 101, 103. Right. 100 plus. She looked to be in her 20s to 30s, so best, she's yeah. probably like 120, 130. That could go into it now. I am curious now because one of the things that like I I I will like I like I said like when I read the read the book I totally forgot who was writing it. Then I was like, man, they sure are mentioning the um the the idea like the Eternals. I'm like, oh, it's Karen Gillan. Of course he's writing the like of course he's writing the Eternals. So I'm like, one thing that they did establish with Selena, she said like you're about to like you're going into the cuss of like the Eternals. And I'm like, okay, you know what? That's a shameless plug in, but I kind of did like how they mentioned that. Like how how he he mentioned that, but I'm just like I think at like the couple like some of the few like maybe like the last ten pages they were it was very like eternal was heavy. I'm I like, gotta oh, correct on. you, Sil. I gotta correct you, Silver. Um, Go we all get it confused, and it's stupid, and we is all get it confused. But there is a difference between externals and eternals. Right. Yeah. The difference. Eternals were all wiped out. By the apocalypse in uh, Excalibur. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They weren't talking about the the the, Not, the movie Eternals. They were talking about the yeah. externals. Uh, yeah. Is Karen Gillan? But isn't Karen Gillan writing the Eternals? Yes. Probably. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. is. He is. He is. Right. So they're both etor- both immortal beings. So right. It's easy to mix them. Yeah, up. I know. If I, if I mix it up, I'm, I'm mixing up. But I definitely, I definitely do think that he's writing the eternals and like so as she's talking about the externals like i did know that there was a connection because of apocalypse oh yeah that's another thing i was like of all the things to say about apocalypse like oh like when he left like we lost something they said magic i'm like are you kidding magic well he was, well, he was doing magic and excalibur but he's not known reading. for magic yeah he's yeah, known for tech that's, that's <laughs> i always true. thought he should be known for magic <laughs> he should be known for it he he's an egyptian god he's Minimum fifteen thousand years old. He should but he, be. Known but he used him. celestial tech. Unless, they, unless, unless again, unless they're gonna go with my thing, as I will always say, I need to get on a shirt. Actually, like if we ever get like my mar- merchandise, mar- mar- magic is just science we don't understand. If they want to say that celestial technology is just so like extraordinary, oh, so advanced, that it, yeah, but yeah, so advanced that it borders lines magic. I'm fine with that. But but like until <clears> honestly, <throat> until like when it comes to like until it came to um. Excalibur, a book I did not read because I like good books. Um, like, uh, like, uh, like magic was like that was not in um, uh, Apocalypse's forte. Like, magic is even more of a storm thing than I would ever think Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, because uh, like storm is a descendant of an African priestess. Yeah, so which, is like, which, is, which is a li- which is like a bit more spirituality because like spirituality is a bit different than magic. Like, it kind of gets mixed together sometimes. Yeah. But even I'm just saying like. But I would not say I don't associate apocalypse and magic like as quickly as uh, some other characters. So I'm like that was a weird way to kind of like wedge that in for me. Uh, yeah. I, d- all right, did you guys enjoy how sinister just like how Kieran Gill just like went over everybody in the council? 
he called Xavier a coward for not reading anybody's minds when he first meets them, which kind of mm-hmm. tells you that Xavier doesn't do that. Like he's like, I don't, I don't do that. That's that's what they, yeah, that's what they hand. I think he used to do it because I, I definitely think he used to do that, particularly with his students. But I think he stopped doing that. Yeah. The uh, one I don't understand is apparently mm-hmm. he's petrified of Exodus. What? Yes. What is petrified? Oh, yeah. oh Exodus is a beast. Yeah, pet- petrified means that he's terrified. If like he is, he is extremely scared of him. Cause, like, like, cause like really- so scared that, like, so so scared that, like, it'll like he he will like uh like like be still, like like as like to not like wake up the beast. Cause, and also you gotta remember, Exodus is uh was Magneto's right hand man at one time. He was the Cyclops mm-hmm. of the Acrolytes, and he and he yeah, is, and he I does not like send it. Like, come on, we've seen mm-hmm. it the entire time. Exodus has been throwing so much shade at uh at sinister and exodus is kind of said like i will beat your ass he also threw yeah, that sinister, Scarlet Witch though too and sinister has never shown fear to that he just he eggs him on at that point i think he's he, I think he's, secret, mad, I think he he's secretly more. petrified no he's talking, he's he's talking trash to hide it yeah and then i'm still i don't he's not he doesn't he's not petrified of legion he's not petrified of legion um, can be manipulated Right, but I mean, like people are that. It's just if if he's scared of a certain power level, then mm-hmm. then there's more to that. Like, is it is it the faith aspect? Is it cause he's not scared of Nike? I don't know why he's scared of him. I think that's just a no, yeah, like, like a, yeah. he's powerful. He's very. I think powerful. It'd be, yeah, he's not like a mega level. He doesn't like. I mean, not even Miss as as a as a mega mega level. I think he's just afraid. Maybe because he can't necessarily like like manipulate him as well as he wants, or like he actually will just straight up kill him if he feels like the moment he like without a hesitation. I think oh, it's yeah. a religious aspect, but at the same time, Nightcrawler should get that too. Like if it's if it's no, the idea that you can, never, <laughs> you can never convince Exodus to go against his way because mm-hmm. of his faith, I guess that's why he's scared. But I would say the if, same about Nightcrawler. If anything, Nightcrawler is even weirder now because, like I said, that's been a big contradiction because Nightcrawler was like devoutly Catholic, and now he's making his own religion, which wholeheartedly is sacrilege. Um, so, but anything like I mean, remember like they established three well four really but really three like that are basically just the heroes and that is kitty pride not really. crawler huh? <laughs> not really kitty's not the hero. i know i know but no but i mean i'm I, I mean in like in throw number four they said like the heroes and they made a good point to, like they made oh not they it's not a good point it's not true but 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 but, but they made effort to show specifically that oh like kitty pride is supposed to be seen as like a hero even though she's a pirate right now which is ridiculous but um but those who specifically store, like they literally called her the gospel, like, oh my God. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but then also somewhat Colossus, and at least they addressed it. Oh, well, the funny thing is Sinister knows that Colossus is like a double agent. And even funnier is um is that uh he he doesn't even know why he's on the council. He just is like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Like I know what's going on though. Like, so that was kind of cool. I couldn't figure out how he could know that until the very end when you, when you get the reveal. <laughs> yeah, like no, yeah, that was good. I like that. I like the fact that he has yeah. like they explain why he has foresight on these things. Oh uh, like, also but even, uh, then, but even then it's not always accurate, which I'm like, go like, ooh, I like that. Uh what he said about Emma. He's like, oh, she's mad, and she's had use of useless men. I'm like, oh my god, don't make this a whatever. And then I think she's talking about Shaw. I, I think you were talking about Shaw because I like right, I like the one I like the thing that he that he did with Shaw too. He's just like he's like like he he's probably too busy like staring at her bottom like and you and, and you're not. I mean, I don't I, and 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 you're not. But also, <laughs> but also the thing about it is, uh, he established that Shaw is Emma's most um, like, closest ally. Like her. Like That's yeah, true. almost more reliable ally. Reliable, and right? Because she probably that, can manipulate like, him. Because she can manipulate. She she knows how he thinks basically. And what I liked Kitty, about that, oh. what I liked about that is that, but is that Sinister truly knows Emma Frost because she he, he got in her mind, hates hates men and all that. Like he knows he, more than just the events. He knows people as as crazy as he can right. be, as unconnected as he is. I think he knows these people. For, uh, for, uh, did he, wait, did he say she hates men? <laughs> No, 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 no. no she, no, she said she's had enough of useless men. Oh, you okay? I'm about to yeah. say. I was like, I mean, that'd be interesting. Like, I, I definitely missed that. Oh, I did like the fact that a uh, sinister called um called a uh, destiny sapphics, and I was like, okay, that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he, he's like, you're a lesbian. <laughs> yeah, basically, you're a lesbian. <laughs> like, what, like, she... I, like, 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 give her an adjective, lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, hey, Corey. 
Hey Corey, oh, what's up, man? We're we're just, Hi, all, um, we're just I just wanted to clock in first. Um, I, I'm on the way home. I just wanted to tell you that um, I'm on the way. Okay. All right, man. All right. Um, okay. they the they, they uh the 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 mother effers called me into work to help <laughs> get ready for a big sale. No We're not even supposed to be there today. <laughs> they make me work movie. weekends. Sorry. I was making a Kevin Smith reference. We're not allowed to make, we're not allowed to reference Harvey Weinstein produce projects anymore. <laughs> so we can't talk about uh, uh, Good Wheel Hunting, any Kevin Smith movie, The Matrix. It, yeah, there are a bunch of movies. You don't need to give me any reason not, not to talk about like Kevin Smith. I will take, I will, I will take it. <laughs> um, like, but also going back with, uh, he was going, when yeah. Sinister was going, he said, yeah, uh, Emma and Kitty are friends now, but mm-hmm. like, they're they're about to get they're about to be at heads any time. Like, because yeah. Emma is not ethical at all, and Kitty nope. is. I'm calling her Kitty because that's how I know her. It's like Cassius Clay. Um, she's Emma's ethical when it comes to children. I I don't know yeah. why. I don't know enough of the lore, but that's something they're establishing in this. Because uh, she wants to be a te- like she always wanted to be a teacher. That's I believe it was actually in. I believe it, it was in the Grant Morrison X Men run when she's like, all she wants to, do, all she, all she ever wanted wanted to do was was be able to teach. So I, I like, like I said, I like that as like that's like that that's a core aspect that they want to go like that is kind of that is very canonical with her character. So I enjoy that. I like you know probably uh, push for Cradle on Krakoa. The hmm? idea that kids should not be fighting the battles. So she should probably push for Cradle to be on Krakoa. Cradle. So that I don't see I don't. Oh. You do not want kids fighting their battles. There's enough I suppose adult. so, but at the same time, uh, well, I mean, yes and no, because don't forget, she is the one that started the Hellions, which yeah. is so hard, which is just like the X, which yep. is just like you know, the B, the the cover B version of the X Men, or the really actually the cover B version of the New Mutants. Honestly, right. That's fair. <laughs> uh, Sinister is like uh, Mystique. Eh. <laughs> He's like, dude, she's mad, but she has a reason to. And then Destiny is just looking at him the entire time, like, I can't stand your ass. <laughs> I can't, I can't yes, I know. I don't. I don't know. Like they've been giving Destiny a lot of sass lately. And no, she's just, always like, had that. She's always been that way. Maybe, maybe. Like I don't know. I've ne- I won't say never. Like I don't recall reading her like that. But I'm just like, okay, fine. Probably yeah. made more. It probably felt different when she looked like an 80 year old woman. Yeah, it's probably it too. <laughs> you know, that would have been really funny if B. Arthur had played um, Destiny. It would make so much sense. <laughs> All right. Hey, Golden Girls was... That How was... did Sinister survive that assassination? I don't... Which one? The the one in the beginning of the comic. He was... Oh, he cloned yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah, he cloned himself. That probably was oh. the original. Even in 1919, he was cloned? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was ahead of the game. Yeah. Damn, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, in the, but like, here's the thing though, Magneto, he was like, listen, I want to step down. And like, it was like, you can't choose your successor. He's like, I know I he stepped he down. Table this, 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 so, this is, so this is the second time that he stepped down and like was surprised that like some fuck shit happened. And I'm like, this is, you should have known with destiny. <laughs> you got to like put this in writing. Up. They did not vote him off the council. He willingly stepped down and then they voted to kick him out of the room. Like how fucked is that? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I love I love team. this one part. I love this one part. He's like, he he table flips everything. He's like, I'm gonna live with the Iraqi now. At least when they're gonna, <laughs> right. at least they come in, come in with the knife. They're gonna get you in the front. I'm like, wow, you are a giant eight year old. Yeah. Like Magneto, but here's the thing though, Magneto always oh, did, did that with Oh, don't say that now because now we're gonna like have a story where basically like you guys remember like the whole thing about Bruce Wayne or Batman is that like he never grew up from being eight. Now Mag- like now they're gonna have to like where Magneto like never grew up from being eight years old when he lost his family. Like we're, we're gonna have a whole storyline about that now because you said that. <laughs> oh god. No, it, it's but all right. I think the bet all right, the sinister secrets are amazing, but let's go into the my one of my favorite parts. The candidates they went over. Yes. Angel. Mm-hmm. Uh, M. I'm not calling her penance because that's not her name. Gorgon. That was surprising. Vulcan. Why yeah. is Gorgon looking so normal? Like no, he that's, normal. First, that's well, a reveal of Gorgon since House of X. Since since, since well, he died in Otherworld is well. To be fair, haven't they established normal? In, uh, and, 
Well, having mm-hmm. it established in the X-Force that you can just choose like what modifications that you want. Like that's why Quentin Choir kept coming back with different like stuff. Yeah, no, but, but other world had consequences. Yeah. yeah. Rock slide is still fucked up from other world. And that's... we've been waiting to see what Gorgon was happened to Gorgon since he's revealed. Some people were like he has one eye. Some people yeah. say he looks like a snake. <laughs> we've been we've been coming up with this and he just walks into the room pretty much pretty yeah. normal. He's, well, he, well, he, well, he just said, well, he mentally, just said he didn't. He's he, mentally like, he, he might be. Enough, sorry, he's mentally intact enough to be a, a, a potential Wyatt Council member. So go ahead, Silver. Yeah. Full, said, well, he said, well, all he said was me. So I was just saying, like, like, he might just have, like, a speech. Not, like, oh. he might be limited, limited in speech. But then uh, why would he be a potential potential Quiet Council member? I, I figured he had to have enough can't. cognitive functions to even be a uh, <laughs> potential. Kitty Pride barely has cognitive function. And uh, she's a, I know, like, well, well, literally, to be fair, uh, too, like, I mean, I guess Nightcrawl is like, we know why is there, but literally Nightcrawl said, like, I'm going to vote, like, I'm going to vote to make sure, like, like any, like, basically any, any, my, anytime I vote, it will be to make sure my mom's not unhappy. So I'm like, so, so that pretty much is what, like, whatever, remember, that was for, no. oh, I forgot oh, for what Inferno, was. for Destiny. Now, yeah, 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 that was for Inferno. So he basically just showed his, his, his bias. I'm like, I really can't even, like, trust you to, like, to, like, to vote well. I just <laughs> answered my own question in my head. Yeah. Uh, right. why was so we know is we don't know no but it seems like you have, for a quiet council potential new member you have to be selected by an existing member um, yes. sponsored by an existing member so right. who would sponsor a mentally ill man sinister it's sinister <laughs> yeah all right but the last three were really interesting yeah Vulcan yeah Abigail Brand yeah and Beast Yes. Funny enough, keep in mind Namor. before you've got Namor. Like, so, so, yeah, so before you keep going, don't forget that Vulcan is also going to be an X-Men Red. Mm-hmm. That's true too. Right. Um, okay. Abigail Brand. I'm like, the audacity. She really like, I'm not sure if she are you are we sure she's not a dude? Because she has some huge balls. <laughs> well, they like, brought up just... her dating beast this time. Yeah. They, they even left it kind of open if she's still dating beast. Well, they said specifically, well, Kitty and Nightcrawl. So this is kind of stuff I do like when, like, this what makes Kitty like, like a Kitty a uh, taller. But I did like the fact, like, well, I mean, if we put them on the council, and like, if, if we put one on but not the other, like, they're just gonna like kill each other. It's like so. I'm like, I was like, okay, that was kind of funny. No, no, but I don't like that little slander. It's like that little, like, okay, when she said, remember when Hank used to be fun? Like, that's not a. That to be fair, and X and like, I think it wasn't like. Uh, New Avengers, like back with like what like with the not the Quiet Council with like like basically the uh, Avenger version of the Quiet Council, the Illuminati. I remember uh, Sunspot and Cannonball said we talked and like we would like you better when you were a, a cat, and that was to like Bat Beast. I'm like, okay, you know, he has he has gradually been getting like less and less um like uh like, fun loving, like yeah, fun I, loving, like yeah. One of the oldest comics I've read recently or listened to actually, it had him organizing and leading a a mutant sports team for the school yeah so he, he yeah. created the sport and he and he led the team's creation and all that that's not a beast i could see doing that you know right now no he's definitely yeah it was fine he's definitely great he, like i think what i've been reading so far like particularly in the in the uh in the version of the beast that i've seen or like how they've been writing him I think they really want to blur that line between Dark Beast and just regular Beast. I think that's like that's been a story idea for a while now, and they just they just finally are just kind of just like going like full throttle away, which I'm fine with. I like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm expecting some form of reveal for Dark yeah. Beast. I it, don't know. It, what, it, it turns don't out know it was Dark what, Beast all the time. <laughs> I don't know what Hank can know, but I think he knows something that's that's cause this i don't know if he was given a shred of the future or mega sentinel did something to him i'm still rating on something because he okay. seems to me out of character uh, it's it's weird like i, I just uh, it, it, like anytime kitty has an opinion about anybody else it's just like wow you you you're talking about uh beast being dark but your best friend is literally the queen of limbo where you is where you where are you coming from with that? You, and your ex husband, or your your sh- could have been husband, or your ex boyfriend is uh you know fucking 
sleeper agent, you know? <laughs> no, but nobody knows that, though. Like, yeah, no one knows except Sinister. Because <laughs> Sinister is smarter than everybody. But There's no way... Mr. No way Xavier doesn't know unless Xavier is also mind controlled by the Russian. Now who's the, no, no, who's that guy that's writing? Like, like oh, the that Yeah, the like Conqueror. what? Like the, it wasn't like isn't there a way for him to like write it to where like Xavier wouldn't know? Exactly. Yeah. So like he's he's a reality warper kind of. Yeah. Uh, but Celine. Yes. She was the best choice. Like she reminded me when when she was talking about apocalypse and all that. Like I kind of, it kind of taken me, it took me to like a real housewives reunion where somebody gets really mad and starts yelling like, yo, ain't no, yo ain't doing shit. I'm the one. I'm, I've been here 10 decades. I do. You know, but it's funny because she said like basically that you replaced Apocalypse, but you didn't fill his seat or something like that. No, I, no, no. I, I like, no, 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 you feel his seat, but you didn't replace him. Exactly, which is which, which, but she contradicted herself. I feel, or the book really did, because guess who actually was a replacement for Apocalypse? Uh, the Druid, Angel, X Force, Rick Remender. He was he was supposed to be the replacement for Apocalypse, and like, I, and he and he and he and he can still go Arc Archangel. So I'm like, why did you pick? Like, if that's if that's your idea, you should have got Angel. I mean, nobody's really gonna take Angel seriously. I know, but he has two things though. So like, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. like based no, on her that. logic, based on her logic, it should have been Angel or Archangel specifically, but Angel nonetheless. I I just I don't think Celine would agree with that that he would be enough to fill that role. Oh yeah, no, I know that's a funny thing though. But like that, I think particularly like sinister. If he's trying to stir the pot, particularly sinister, or like sorry, stir the pot. Particular sinister should have said that. Well, then by that logic, we need to go at Warren. I mean, he literally was the uh, replacement for uh, Apocalypse. But then, uh, like, but Celine had a really good uh, pitch. She's like, mm -hmm. "All right, yeah, the five are doing really good work, but they only can only do like one or two a day." Right. They brought back the entire sit, uh, country of Genosha, and then Kitty's like, "Yeah, but you brought them back as zombies. They weren't yeah. zombies. <laughs> they weren't zombies. They were just undead bodies." <laughs> yeah, like. They they weren't eating people, <laughs> and uh, and then and then we get hope. Yeah, I can't stand uh, hope. So real real quick about the yeah, you think she's the best candidate, but I'm not sure she's so sure because like she doesn't care about the rule of law. Is she not. Uh, know, like, she, the was, she was she was very she was quickly petty when it came when like she didn't get picked. <laughs> Magneto <laughs> petty back. <laughs> Even Apocalypse honored the rule. The only people Apocalypse killed were mutants since joining Krakoa. Fair. The yeah, only but... people he killed were were externals, and those were mutants. He never killed any humans. He he respected the Krakoan laws, and that's just not something that what's that uh, Celine could do. No, well, I mean, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. But she's better than Hope. Like. Hope has no experience, but Celine does. She, and Celine, like, what what can Hope do except, oh, I'm a representative of the five, and we're yeah. super, and me and my boy band, we're super famous. Yeah, like, pretty much. That's all she. That's really all she. Had. I mean, granted, it's like like uh, power wise, she's not like she is essential. But I'm like, no offense, but I mean, we got Sink. Yeah, we have, but we got Sync. I'm like, Mimic. so you really don't, huh? Who? Um, uh, Mimic can do it. Yeah, like a bunch of like power. There are other power. So I'm like, yeah, you know, like that. Went, once again, like once again, I'm just like, I think this needs to be more. Like I said, like the, the raid, like the way it was kind of written, it was more of a, it's more like a, of a political thriller. I'm like, I think once again, you gotta kind of do those things. It's like, okay, well, you know, like yeah, does hope have a point that she like she actually can do like this, like like she's essential to this power? Yes, but we also got sync. So like we need we need those kind of talks because like because for us to bring them up kind of makes me wonder if like. Does Karen Gillan just not either know, or does he not want us to like? Does he not want us to pay attention to that? I'm like, either way, like if like they're like that is not a plot hole, but that is something that should at least be um, addressed. And, and but also, Hope says, "Well, I think we can cut to the chase. It has to be me." I'm like, yeah. I think uh, Hope. I think Hope made a good argument for herself. Right? You made mm -hmm. Hope. Hope made two very good points. The okay. first point is part of the five. Um, the five I've always thought were the, were the most important 
mutant circuit slash the five are very important they probably should always should have had a voice on the on the council mm-hmm. and second is the, the quiet council is not popular right now mm-hmm. they're, they're not popular at all what do you mean uh, and, why, why do you say that um uh, well, they well, don't they're, know they're, this, they're they don't yeah, they don't know this stuff with Moira, but um and plus didn't I don't they, trust didn't they say that this issue that that the, that the, something what maybe it was a blackmail, but didn't Hope say something like uh if I leave here, you rejected me, that everyone's gonna hate you? Basically, so yeah, basically, yeah, basically to, 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 to that effect, which no offense, I'm like, okay, they hate us, so what? Like, I'm <laughs> like, I was kind of like, okay, I mean, like. You think that it's the first time that a group of that that like a society that doesn't like the government? It is not. Yeah, I mean, we already got that with uh with yeah. North Star and uh, X Factor. <laughs> yeah, it's but nobody point cares. That Fifteen million mutants are gonna wake up, and the first people they see are the five. Uh, the tech, uh I guess. Uh, no, isn't it sometimes isn't it sometimes it's uh it's actually Storm. Well, you can do private uh resurrections but like the, the casual queue the the casual you know 15 12 million queue they're going to see the five when they wake up i think mm-hmm. whatever role the five have now it's going to be even greater come the future when you know but but they, um, did, but they did establish that like that they, they did say eventually like the five won't be needed yeah or, like at least at least not those five I mean, they said I, if you did, they might create more five, or the five might become so efficient that they could do far more. Yeah, than, than I mean, are the they, they, they they're working on replacements? Is what I like. I know for a fact they said we're working on like a replacement five, or at least people to replace them. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm just like, I'm just saying, it's like we got to Like mutant technology is, is a thing now, so I'm like, you got to keep that into the conversation. It, uh, no, what she says here, mm-hmm. uh. But it's more than that. I know it's weird, but all the mutants love us. They know what we do. I'm embarrassed by even. I don't think she's she was lying. That was the cap. I don't think people no. were hearing that I was refused to make is going to make the council council popular. I'm like, you think you know everything because Cable is your dad. <laughs> Not she hasn't even been invited. She hasn't even come by for, for the summer's dinner. So you know how I can much. Maybe see the argument that it's unearned the the, the love that an adoration that the five get but that's absolutely what they've established time and time again since house of x that the five are beloved and uplifted to a high part of society even someone like gold balls is now one of the most beloved people a guy that went from being just a fucking nobody that no one knew his name is literally one of the superstars of krakoa like the, the five are more than just they, the five. No, they're they're a propaganda machine. Mm-hmm. Like, but, I, even I like then, but even then, the question is why that? Like, why her specifically? Why not one of the other people of the five? Oh, because she's the one who makes it all work. Because she thinks she's the Justin Timberlake of mm-hmm. of the five. Mm-hmm. She thinks she's the star. <laughs> no, Exodus said that, but Exodus is the one that said it. That too. Yeah, like Exodus got in her head. He gassed her up. I think uh, to be fair, I think he did say something about like the Phoenix, but still. Oh, and then they and then they kind of implied that uh, Jesus Christ was was a mutant too. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, that I mean, awesome. uh, and and X Men Days of Future Past apparently JFK was muted. Obviously, his mutant ability wasn't being bullet, 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 wasn't being bulletproof. But um, <laughs> hey, hey, he was Mastermind's grandfather. No. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that'd be interesting. Be Jesus Christ, cool. don't get them an idea. Don't get them more ideas. But uh, <laughs> like, hey, they can listen to me. I did, like, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and how sent and how, how all the voting went. He's mm-hmm. like, okay, know that, knew that, and then destiny. No, no, no. What? <laughs> like, he's like, you know what? I changed my vote because you know which which one. Which once again, that made me upset too. Because like, wait a minute, you you can just change your vote because way back in Inferno. Uh, but yeah, way back in, in Inferno, um, so like the reason why Sebastian Shaw said either yes or no, I think he said no, was because Emma was gonna say yes, right. and then and then Emma said the opposite, like so you can change your vote midstream. I'm like, oh hold on, wait a minute. I don't think <laughs> they care. No <laughs> it it is funny how oh uh, it's funny how yeah, but didn't you know Silver that all along Shaw was Emma's most trusted ally? Right, apparently yes. <laughs> 
it also i really like how nightcrawler called like after when the big monster showed up uh nightcrawler's like you're an idiot sinister you you're so you're so smart you're stupid mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, some people just say that that needs, that, that needs to be said to emma that needs to be said to beast that needs to be said to <laughs> a couple people i mean it, like, it, like quite a few more also uh destiny said something really profound like why did like when Sinister asked, like, why didn't you say anything about Celine? He's like, mm-hmm. you, you, you're stupid. You really, you never, after all these years, you never learned how my powers actually work. Mm-hmm. I don't see the future. There is no the future. There is no destiny. I like that. So what it's like just I, convoluted stupid fucking words. What do you mean? No, 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 no. I no, what, what I the way I look at it is she mm-hmm. Destiny, uh, like she can see, she sees a bunch of stuff, but she's still blind, because like she, she sees, uh, she, she sees, sees better static. than most people. Okay, then don't say there's no destiny. Say there's many destinies. Yeah. No, but she, no, but she's being a dick. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. That's why I think it's stupid. Because like, there's a thousand, there's a, a trillion precogs in the universe, and this bitch is trying to like talk as if she knows more than. The, all of them like no i'm sure some of them think there is a destiny you know like it, no okay, okay and then we get sinister going to this like say okay i want to kill <laughs> he was about yeah, was to like, rick well, and morty yeah, like, yeah, well this one's bad <laughs> it was like uh it's like wait 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 not yet <laughs> so, so yeah how does this work go ahead like is he is he burning timelines or is he just sending information back in time? He's giving the way I think, like the way I see it is he's, he basically has that Moira. He, yeah, I think he like, he, he has that Moira like live a certain timeline. And then like, it's, I guess it's kind of all in, in her head. And then, and then he downloads like that, like that, uh, that timeline in, into his brain. And then he just kills her off. Right. And then he does another one, <laughs> hey, which is, so- which, again, which was like, that was, genius like that was perfectly ingeniously sinister i'm like that is like 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 i i stood and i applauded like that was a great final page like i didn't like the whole giant monster uh thing and like like in like the last couple pages but i was like that very last page like i enjoyed it like that was like you have to I, I wipe moira's memory to be the only one that knows this timeline you would have to have more wipe moira's memory no 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 see like what sinister did was make if Moyer was to die, the real Moyer was to die, nothing would happen because we got no way, no, it still would happen. Damn. Because like if if you're if you kill Moira, she resurrects as a child and there then does it all something. over again. She would yeah. know she was in captured and cloned by Sinister and all that. So maybe maybe she doesn't maybe he doesn't put her into like a death state exactly. Maybe 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 she doesn't exactly die, but she's as good as dead. Because technically speaking, being in a coma doesn't mean, mean you died. It's Something too powerful if he's burning the timeline. Hey, you know what? It's a good way to get more out of the equation. It is. Well, no, it's it keeps her in the equation. That's so funny. But even this, like main core, like like I'm gonna call her just like Moira Prime. Oh. Moira Prime does does not know does know that that this is happening. But she all right. But even then, Moira is so she believes everybody but herself. Mm-hmm. That's weird to me. Not unlike Emma, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That, that is true. But is like also this Orcus uh, data page. There, I like how like they show the same page, but they like they show the redacted uh, parts. Yeah. And now uh, the Orcus protocol is uh, avoidance of this eventual demands blank in every theater, physical, economical psychological like okay but don't know i want to know what does creative slash narrative mean and sociology and modeling like what are they trying to do here i think they're trying to like 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 do it like a propaganda thing or like just to say specifically like kind of like make mutants unpopular again because they somewhat are because they somewhat are becoming popular again or rebranding of orcus as a more young people and yeah, we gotta get fresh. Them. Like yeah. cigarettes. <laughs> no. um, you the know, one thing I'm worried about is I'm worried that Sinister has the best plan. 
You know, I'm worried he has the greatest conniving plan on the council. I don't want that. I, I, well, we I don't know everybody else's still... plan, though. Exactly. So I'm still holding out hope that Emma has an incredible conniving plan that that fucking um, I don't know about Exodus. Um, <laughs> like, no, I'm surprised Sister hasn't plan. busted up the Colossus' spy. He's, it hasn't mm-hmm. said, like, hey, you know this guy is mind-controlled, right? You don't... Right. Like, well, I mean, I think that I, I think that's the thing, though, because I think if like he knows all this stuff, he might be actually be able to like kind of house of cards and be like, OK, well, let me drop like that little tidbit right there. Let me drop this little tidbit right here. So that's going to be the big um, like that might be the thing. I'm not I'm not too upset if Sinister is like kind of like the puppeteer, but I do kind of want to see I at least want him to struggle. basically. Right. And um. Okay. Right, but you guys, you didn't like Hellions. I'm worried you're not going to like loved, I loved Hellions. No, I don't like, yeah, no, 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 you're talking about me. Like, yeah, I don't I like, like that. Yeah, silver, yeah. Yeah, I, I like Hellions. No, I don't like Hellions because it was a contradiction. Right, uh, but this is, this is, this is what this is going to be. Is it going to be silver? Uh, silver. It's going to be, it's going to be sinister, conniving and controlling. And, yeah. And if you didn't like that, then you're not going to like this because he's just going to be his comedic, comedic. He's just going to be, when he fails, you're going to have those eyes popping out. I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Please. Who would have been your picks for oh, the card now? I like I that question, about, but yeah, can, can I have, can I have a caveat remember? to that? Who would make who yeah. would make Mito have picked also? Oh, that's it. Oh, probably Polaris. Probably Polaris. No, no she's on the X Men. She's a, she's a, a, no X Men can be on the council. I mean, so quick. Oh, good point. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, first who do I want? Um. Can I have Storm twice? No. No. <laughs> like, all right, all right. The, the being honest. Storm and Clone Storm. <laughs> you could replace uh, Nightcrawler, Storm, and Colossus, and nobody would notice. Who would I pick? I mean, like my my go to is, is Sunspot. Um, honestly. I get. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah. Um, I would have gone with Celine, but like really beast <laughs> like because i would like beast would see beast would be right there with sinister like wait he's up to something i'm not sunspot then manifold too but man i think manifold's too integral to uh sword though yeah i got I, mine all right go I, ahead what's up so i've either I either do the original or I would so take Omega Sentinel. Take the okay. se, take t- no, not Omega Sentinel. Sorry, take Omega Wolverine. Take the Omega part out of him, so he's just an old Logan, and have Old Man Logan be. Uh, no, that's weak. No, we don't need no. We don't need Old <laughs> no, Man we don't, Logan need another, we don't need another Wolverine. <laughs> no, this is Logan. <laughs> no, no, man. No. Man. No. Okay, fine. By, by fine. Then by that logic, then I'm just gonna get Cyclops that was possessed by um Apocalypse to be the new man. Right? <laughs> I mean, it makes more you, sense. You, 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 I get... I think old man Logan is wise. He's a little more calmer than his former self. And I want I want Wolverine still active. So have both. You know, have a young Wolverine and old man Logan. Where's the family have, like, for that though? Like, yeah, we already have that. Like, we, we have yep. like uh, Logan and we have uh, uh Laura. Laura. <laughs> we, we need a grandfather though for the family. We need a grandfather. No, we don't need a grand. No, okay. You know what? They do have a grandfather. He's oh, dead. Oh, you know what? No, okay. Joe, like unironically, Gateway we probably would probably, probably would have been a, a good pick. That would have been real. That's that. That's a good pick. Yeah. They already have a teleporter, but I guess it's not really about powers. Yeah. No, I would. I would. I would have replaced Kitty Pride with somebody else too. They're like it's really like a. It, like they're looking for someone who does magic, and I'm like, well, the only person that I know really that does magic is magic. Uh, so <laughs> magic. Oh my god! Like, what if they like? What if they just lost their ever loving minds and they got Goblin Queen? <laughs> it's like you need a magic user. Okay, so I heard Goblin Queen. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, Sinister would not like that. <laughs> no, because she would definitely put like a she would definitely put like a spanner in his plans. Because like. Because if he doesn't like Destiny, uh, uh, mean mugging him, we're we're just gonna get mad. Uh, Maddie just like, like, I'm a, like I can't stand you, and that's her dad. 
I guess I guess pick I guess uh Pixie too. Pixie's a good one. Pixie Ma- Ma- Magic, uh Goblin mm-hmm. Queen. Mm. I, I don't see them doing anyone oh, else. Wanda. Wanda would be a really She's not she's not a mutant. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but they they you know, they don't necessarily, I, I, cause like Namor too, like Namor is ne- not oh, necessarily. No, 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 Namor is, no, Namor is. Well, he's half mutants. He's half yeah, mutants. Um. No, well, but the thing with Namor though, they explain like, we asked him again and he said no out of ego. Yeah, he Does said no out of really ego because he doesn't like, like the what, fact, yeah. What's his mutant power? His mutant power is, I believe his mutant power, funny, I'm, I, I should not, I believe his mutant power is his, uh, is his, uh, his foot wings. I thought it was just his skin color. No, I, I know it's his foot wings. I thought he was a, a white skinned uh, Atlantean, a pink oh, skinned white Atlantean. privilege. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> At least to my knowledge, I think that's no. I, I could be wrong, but I, 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 I think it's like his, I, actually his, his uh, foot wings are like, make him a mutant, okay. which is hilarious. Uh, okay, I'm looking it up. Yeah, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. He's a time, I don't care about the time gem. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. They don't really say. Yeah, and Wiccan, unfortunately, Wiccan is not a mutant. I don't think he is, because that would have been a, probably a good choice, too. Uh, I don't think he is. I know Speed. I don't know. Maybe he is, because he's on the island. I don't know. Well, I, Speed, the, uh, Magneto called Speed a human at one okay. point. Well, then I at one no point, idea. Speed showed up, and he's like, what are humans doing on the island to... Um, Speed is dating uh, Prodigy. Prodigy, and yeah, he's like, why, why, oh. why are we humans on the island? Okay, Namor. He, the fact that he could fly, yeah, durability, which is several times of, of an Atlantean. So yeah, he told you. Okay, all right. I got my, I got my pick. Rogue. Instead, like, uh, for the replacement for Magneto, Rogue. I just would laugh at the Iraqis were thinking just, just adding 25 year old girls onto the Clyde Council. Yeah, I was just gonna have a bunch of waifus that they by the end it's just all waifus. Wait, uh, uh is Shaman from uh X uh what you call it? Alpha Flight. From Alpha Flight. Shaman is, is he a mutant? I think he is. He's a mutant. Okay, yeah. So the, so once again, I'm trying to get I'm trying to do like a magic thing. Oh, uh Danny Moonstar as well. Uh Warpath. Oh, um, Wait, Moonstar's Forge. married? I think she's more shamanistic. Well, yeah. Uh, Warpath, Thunderbird, like any name. Oh, any, yeah, well, Thunderbird would have been great. But once again, not magic, but Thunderbird would have been great. I mean, that would be funny, like, oh, Thunderbird, you get, you finally come back. We're going to put you on the council, even though literally you've been dead for almost 50 years. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Same with Destiny, though. <laughs> she's a de- Destiny can at least see the future. Yeah, but she has a... Yeah. There has to be a way. There has to be a reason why why Sinister picked Thunderbird's gene. I think Thunderbird has like a second mutation. He just has an unlock or something. There's no way he just randomly picked Thunderbird's gene for his X gene. I mean, it, it would make it would make sense because remember, remember, like uh, Mystique gave Hope the cerebral helmet, and the first thing they did was to bring back Thunderbird. Why? Because she doesn't was know. That, was, that, was that the first thing they did for real? Oh, oh, with the true. cerebral helmet? No, th- no, I think the after no, I think, Destiny. After bring back Destiny. I don't think that's true. I think it was. I think it was Destiny first, and then, I, and then after, um, after Scarlet Witch did what she did, then Thunderbird comes. Right, in. right. It was the third. It was one of the first things they did. Right, and, but they already had. They already once again. I don't know why. I don't know why since they did, did this, but like you could have just. Well, no. Now I know why because he had the whole like time loop thing. He's like time travel is very crazy in Marvel. But like I was like, why even have Destiny's DNA unless like if not you thought oh one day this would become useful. Now we kind of know. And and then Sinister was like, man, I should have burned her entire team. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Like he, he literally did say that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> that was it's so funny because <laughs> it's like I like oh. Sinister reminds me of Black Bush when, like, when Destiny's like, I know I should have brought you back. Like, <laughs> you keep doing this to me. <laughs> and I'm now I'm wondering who that that deaf person is. That has to be Moira, right? Deaf person. We need deaf person. Like right here, like in the um, in the oh, cover. Okay. 
But that, that, could what actually, I, be, that could just actually be the concept of death. Imagine death actually being a mutant. Like the concept of death herself is a mutant. <laughs> uh, she was at one point. Um, <laughs> See? Uh, well, her avatar, she died. De- death apparently inhabits like an avatar once in a while. Late right. Mistress Death, she inhabits like a female body. And, oh, just, and she just like with the Phoenix. Apparently, she particularly chooses mutants as her avatars, and like uh, has, <laughs> and she, um, yeah, she liked killing mutants too. Like she, she particularly liked to not kill them, but like when they die, she likes to be the one that takes their souls. I remember that being a whole thing. I just see um, like a lot of what a lot. She's of, dead right now in the comics. Right, Thanos killed her. But I, I just don't like how like Kokoa is supposed to be like a new start for all of mutant kind, but a lot of these mutants still are holding their grudges. Like Kitty, Storm, uh, a lot of them, they did not like Destiny. Like, oh no, no, I don't, I don't mess with her. Why? Oh, yeah. uh, she shot me that one time. Let it Man, go. Fair enough. I mean, that's a pretty good criticism. <laughs> Who voted no for hope? Uh, I had oh, I couldn't get really into it now. Me. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm looking it up. Also, I don't see it says that he's not a mutant. So maybe maybe his daughter is for shaman. I like it. So I'm actually thinking like so maybe he wasn't a good choice. Uh, Colossus said no. Charles said no. Destiny said no. Storm said no. That's um. Uh, somebody else. Somebody else said. Okay. Fucking Kitty Pride, like a twenty-two-year-old girl, could be on the council, but we can't have hope. Kitty's like, not twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit older than that. He's like thirty. Mm, I would sapphire. Like she was like she. Kitty might be the same age, like around the same age as Iceman. Honestly, yeah. Like they're, like like they're not necessarily. Iceman should be in like at least his late. Iceman should be at least be, at least be in his late uh twenties. He should be at like twenty-eight. Honestly. I, I, in my head canon, the mm-hmm. last she's she was like 16 when Iceman was like 18, 19. Like she no, would no, been no, like, actually nah. no, that's a um Iceman was a full he was 18, like probably even 20 when um when Kitty joined because she joined when she was 13. And a lot wow. and a lot most because uh yeah, because like Ice Iceman though he turned 18. And then he left the X Men to become an accountant. Yeah, yeah. which is hilarious. Yeah, really? No, I, that's like that's Bobby's like. Little... Yeah, because he yeah because he's good at math because of how he because like he, like making those uh, ice kind of things like those ice constructs like takes like a lot of like like math skill. So okay. that was pretty funny. So if that's the case, shouldn't uh, Cyclops be? <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, no, straight up, no. Cyclops is good at, at trigonometry. Yeah, like he, he jumped, but that's really yeah. No. I like why not? I like why not have Cable on the council? Because Cable, because we don't know how long Cable's gonna stick here. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we we had Babel for a bit. Yeah, not Cable... calling him that. No, <laughs> that's why we need Old Man Logan because he has the wisdom of a Cable. Okay, you're going oh. on mute. Yeah, no. <laughs> old Man, Lo- <laughs> Abrison put Old Man Logan to bed. Really, really <laughs> good. Yeah, but we have no, no, we have Gary Omega Dugan Wolverine. What is Omega Wolverine? Okay, I don't know how X and Lives ends, but what happens to Omega Wolverine? What happens to him? Um, it's it. That's that's um. That's they, the they buried arc. him back. He went back into the ground. Yeah, and, like the world may never know because I didn't. I won't know because I didn't read it. Uh, <laughs> so if he's just back in the ground, he could easily show up again. But it, but here's the thing. Oh, oh God, I hate the fact that I. Your, you guys are making me have the uh, making me remember. Uh, God, I hate. God, I hate uh, Ben Percy okay. as a as a writer. Just <laughs> he sucks. Don't know him personally. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he just sucks. No, uh, <laughs> it it just it, it, it it's like word vomit yeah. happens. No, yeah. But like the thing with, uh, I think he will be really cool to bring in because. Technically, he's Sinister's grandson. What, Ten- Chamber? No. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Cable. Sorry, sorry, that, sorry. I, I heard grandson. I thought you were talking about Ooh, Chamber. You know what? Chamber. Chamber is a descendant of Apocalypse. That's, that's so, people, Cable's people kind of being wasted on the peak. But yeah, yeah, the Chamber would be good too. 
Who was the druid guy that Apocalypse was training? That was uh, Richter. Richter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, he's, that basically like, he's basically like <laughs> Toph. For of course it wasn't. Thing. Of course it wasn't going anywhere, man. He's pretty like it was it was Excalibur. Like yeah. come on, man. No. Which is now gonna be Knights of X. Right. Oh which is which yeah. once again, just you know, put it in the pull in the pile of books that I'm not gonna read. Uh <laughs> you can change the name, but you're not gonna change 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 the book. Yeah, Teeny Howard wants to keep double dipping. She's ruining Catwoman for me, and she's gonna be <laughs> yeah, at least she's equal opportunity. But... Oh, that's... Yeah. Okay. Corey, how did you feel about uh, Immortal X-Men? Um, Silver and I talked about the art. Overall, yeah. it's good, but if you really like want to slow down, there, there, the, there are certain panels where you're like, hold on a second, the dimensions here. Yeah. Warnock, what are you doing? Um, but overall, it was great. Everyone looked how they're supposed to look. The girls were taken excellent care of. Emma, Celine, just to name a few, especially Mystique, so, uh, Mystique looking like <laughs> Lady D in like the in, in like the scenes when she's like picking up Irene after Irene makes Essex have like a seizure or something. I don't wait, wait, wait. Here's a, here's something I wanted to know. How did you guys feel about the fact that Sinister in 1919 could just be all white and no one's going to say anything? And then we see Mystique in all blue and no one's going to say anything. I think uh, I think that should have populated, but I think by the time like everything kind of happened, they were kind of by themselves. Uh, okay, that's. No, so she could just you know quickly like switch back. Well, to yeah, you know, that, was that, was was human, though. that was a human, Mister Sinister. Like he looks sickly, but that was he's yeah. human. He looked he looked pale for sure. No, 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 no. That, that was him regular. Because he, like, before he went, uh, he went, uh, he red became, eyes. Yeah. yeah. He he was a normal looking dude. He just had, like, black hair. Yeah. When, when like he started messing sweet. with Apocalypse, that's when he got changed. Yeah. Right, right, right. That, 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 that's my point, though. That he was just a human. Like, it, it's not like he was a mutant uh, and looked fucked up. He was just a human and looked fucked up. Right. Yeah. Um, Overall, um, the, the, the other thing I'll say is I only trust three people to script Mr. Essex now. Uh, Hickman, uh, Zeb Wells, and Gillen. Gillen. I, until the cut to credits, I was like, wow, Essex, I know who you are now. I'm actually getting able to starting to roll with your shit here. <laughs> but I love the cut- his obsession with capes. Yeah, yeah, that was that was fun, and that was yeah. a Hickman thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Hick- capes, so just like oh, cape, and then the cut to credits. I was like, "What the hell are you doing?" All right, I got it. All right, I got another question. Okay. All right, what okay. is what was your favorite? Uh, si- oh no, I'm sorry. Every your favorite everyone's secret in that data page. Like the ones that were known to all mutants, but no humans, known to the council, no only to the mutants involved, or not known. Let me see. Let me get to that page. I really liked uh, uh <laughs> when, it, when it was clear Xavier Magneto wouldn't bring back Destiny or on Moira's orders, Mystique brought her back herself. This included impersonating Xavier and giving Cerebral Helmet to Hope Summers who resurrected Destiny with the five. So now, this tells me that Hope could be working with Destiny and Mystique. No, it says, oh, I mean, I guess so. Known only to, well, I think Mystique, Mystique didn't vote again against her because she owed her, so maybe. But why did Destiny go against her? Why did Destiny go against her? To keep, things, to keep it, uh, to keep it, uh, like, make it look good? Fair enough. And also, uh, also, what is your favorite immortal sinister secret? Let's see. Also, did you guys catch that little thing on the side? It said lies, lies. Let's see. I think I like the fact that people like the X Men have wiped the brains of a, of a human reporter to keep the yeah, to prevent the secret of mutant resurrection resur- 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 from coming out because obviously that's to some really good comic which is the x-men comic that was but specifically it said the x-men in general but that actually was not true that was actually just sync that was not the x-men right 
but, but I guess because Cyclops, Cyclops well, but then again, because Cyclops condoned it, and remember, Cyclops is the X Men. Maybe, maybe that's what he's saying. Yeah, also, I, I, mine's is number ten. Finally, someone who actually deserves get thrown into the pit. Good riddance. Mine is well, with all of the diamond studded secrets. Um, there's nothing new here that's really been established for the readers. Gillen's just like categorizing this all, but the one that really hasn't been like developed yet is Ms. Abigail Brand is yeah. on the surface of it working with Orcus, but we all know, and I know, thanks to my education from you all, four-dimensional chess is something she loves to do when she's when she's not even working. I think I like number seven, because it says which blue mutant is going to be red, so like, you know, many people have their blue mutant in, 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 in mind. I'm like, oh, finally. Thank Christ. It's finally going to happen. They're going to kill off Maggot. Why would you say something so horrible? <laughs> yeah, I thought we were going to say, I thought it was going to be like, wait a second. Nightcrawler. <laughs> well, well, it could be either Kurt or Hank. One-eyed Hank and From stuff. Or, yeah, yeah, Raven. Um, I my, my favorite panels were the uh, interview panels where everyone was like coming to say like, you know, oh, maybe you should pick me. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should pick me. Did you guys um, do that Shark Take theme? Like, do, 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Warren's suit was drawn perfectly. He like had his wings all popped out and stuff. My and it, uh, favorite uh, Sister Secret uh, uh, it's kind of. I think it's the most important one, because um, it actually. I think it actually reveals some information. Um, okay. Agent yeah, Grand is collaborating with Orcus, and that is a not known. Mm -hmm. Right. That basically establishes that she's not a sleeper agent. Whatever she's doing is wholly <gasps> her plan. I thought that established. I thought she established that in um. I think yeah, and uh, uh, Thor, we yeah. have uh, we had we had like the kid in the wheelchair working with her, so Where's we're kid? all thinking that it's some way she's still collaborating with Krakoa, but this is a hundred percent confirmation. She, uh, I think she all but said no, all but I think she's all but said in Sor when she killed uh, Gyrich. I think it was like Gyrich or Goodrich, wait, whoever it was. Gyrich, Gyrich, yeah, Gyrich. Gyrich. Like when like when she when she killed Gyrich, like I don't follow Krakoa's role. Then she even said, I think she even said more, like kind of to herself, like. This is like the game. Like I'm something to the effect that like she, I, I'm not gonna pair. I'm gonna paraphrase. I, I, I don't know verbatim, but she like she made it very clear that like she is the one doing this. Like she is gonna put like mutants on like the galactic stage as opposed to like what they're doing because what they're doing is like too soft. Okay, you know, I, I agree with you. But then we got the kid in the wheelchair who's who working with her, who then says he basically implies that he's for the betterment of mutant kind. Yeah. Um, which would. Which would have a, I watched a lot of reviews and a lot of people left thinking that that uh, Brand was some former sleeper agent, not for Krakoa, but for one of the Quiet Council members or something like some operation mm -hmm. was going on under the yeah. under yeah, the Okay, scene. all right. I I have, I, have a, I have a crazy theory. What's that? What if Abigail Brand is working for Orcus as a way of infiltrating it in order to take over it? If that's the case, then like that's gonna be Galaxy Brain. I mean, well, I mean, we really are Galaxy, but like that's gonna be Galaxy Brain logic because they're gonna be looking at they're going to be on her like brown on rice as they should. Oh yeah, you can't like if you see if if you if that girl Brain says she wants to be part of your crew, you gotta be like run no no yeah like yeah watch her. yeah yeah because that's like saying uh you know nick fury wants to be wants to be a part of your uh enterprise and i'm saying um caucasian or samuel L. jackson nick fury give or take it's just caucasian nick fury's done more of the nasty stuff yeah we got the uh what's called who, who is he like the unseen <laughs> right yeah yeah he, yeah he's just gotten resigned from being that He's now working with the Fantastic Four and the Reckoning War. Also, okay. Also, do you guys think that Reed Richards and Iron Man know about Orcus, like on, on some level? 
Uh, I well, I haven't, reading, I haven't been reading Avengers, so well, no, 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 I mean, just like because they're using that their all technology. depends on like that all depends on what books you're reading and what you think the character state of mind is because Cantwell is just kicking the living teeth out of Tony mm. and slots just firing on all cylinders getting the getting this reckoning war thing started. So they have to. You're the, yeah. The, well the, the orbital facilities around the sun are not cloaked. Wait, I don't think it's the no, I don't think it's the sun. I think it's like a star. No, 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 the sun is a star. <laughs> the sun is a star. No, no, no. I don't think it's. I don't think it's the sun. I think like X, like the X Men have to draw, like have to fly way out there. So I don't think it's like. Oh. I don't think it's our sun. I think it's just a star. And I know the sun's a star. Come on with the fuck. No, because right. in, the, in the very first House of X co- issues, when they Suicide Squatted, um, yeah, they the said facility. they had to fly miles. They they said that that they had to fly millions of miles away, and the sun is not millions of miles away. It, the sun is millions of miles away. And uh, they, it? Um, it is, and they, uh, they, uh, they, they tried to summon sentinels from Mercury. Oh, also, Orcus. Okay, Check so it is moons miles away, so it got me there. But let me see. I would just go to House of X. Let me see. Right. Right. I remember reading House of X just recently, and they said that uh, they say they it was a sign. Summon sentinels from Mercury to, to assist them from the attack. They're like, right, but I just oh, summon the Sentinels from Mercury. They won't get here in time. No, but check yeah, this out. Or- but don't you guys find Orcus a little bit funny? Because all right, it, I, that's why I love the data pages. Orcus is a covert operation composed of multiple dynamic enterprises collectively dedicated to, to the prevention of global mutant primacy. The ranks of they're uh okay, this is the last part. Yeah, go ahead. They stand shoulder to shoulder, ready to confront the threats of tomorrow. <laughs> that, is, that is so ass backwards. That's about, it's clearly, you got some Hydra members in marketing. Yeah, well, it said like, what, 4%, but still. Yeah, mm. Shield, AIM, CIA, FBI, the Mossad, FSB. What is FSB? I don't know. Well, Mossad. No, that's... I don't know what Mossad are. They're the Italian. They're the, no, I almost said almost Italian. The uh, the Israeli army. Yeah, they're they're the Israeli CIA. Right. Once yeah, the, I know. Yeah, I know that. The but like, FSB is the German special forces. Yeah, that, that might be the German CIA or something. Uh, um, I'm looking it up. Like, uh, Russia? No, no. Russia, I thought that was they, like. The uh, guy that was something. Oh, KGB. Yes. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, right. KGB. Uh, okay, what is an FSB agent? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm noticed that Wakanda is not on that list. Yeah, because Wakanda's smart. Now, I will say, based by, 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 like, particularly how uh, oh. John Ridley, by, particularly how John Ridley is writing, is uh, writing, uh, what you call it, uh, Black Panther. Black Panther probably should know about Orcas. It, well, you yeah. think so? But yeah, oh, okay, maybe. okay. All right, I'm looking it up. FSB is at oh Russia, the Federal Security Service of uh, the Russian Federation. FSBRF. Okay. So they the just KGB. change the letters. They just right. change the letters. It's still the KGB. Um, like, they just they're, they're trying to fight against the threats of tomorrow. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> One white page I didn't like was the one with Krakoa on it, and it was pro- apparently naming all the all the habitats and outposts. I think it was just kind of lazy. They didn't name them all. Uh, we got twenty six. Uh, they did. They, they didn't name the one on Sorella, or the planet, the moon of the Shi'ar. Oh, the Chandelar. Okay, yeah, I get that. Yeah, if you don't even name that one, like. Lazy. I think they did say that like Krakow is like both like it's like national and intergalactic. So I think I mean I know you probably wanted it to specifically say that, but like they but they did cover like it's uh, okay. Oh, yeah, also, good point. Good point. Also, uh, oh, this, for galactic this, to be fair. This is just me, but I've been reading Dan Slott's um, Fantastic Four and okay. that and a bunch of other books but apparently the fantastic four have this thing called the forever gate which means they can tra- be teleported to any uh anywhere in the universe i can see them using that on krakoa 
well, yeah, like, especially if other ex-department people pick up where Chip Zdarsky left Reed off, like he wants that amputated intelligence back, that amputated memories back. You know, you know what, Reed, shut up, okay? Not you can't know everything. <laughs> but yeah, it was racist. You know, Charles, Charles did him real dirty. No, it's he one didn't. Thing, it's <laughs> no. one thing if you take a memory; it's another thing if you leave just enough of that memory that you will never forget. That I took your memory. So you're I saying think Charles Xavier can't flex? Though. He can't. I think flex. that's important, though. I think that's important that because, like, if you just wipe him clean, then he would, then he'll just do it again. Right. Okay. Then you go and you erase his memory. You're <laughs> no, asking that's for what, the that's smartest. Like, no, hang on. No, you're that's asking just the for the smartest adult man on the planet to basically connive. Stark would have an issue with that. No, would would. call it. No, I think I think there's that. Well, Reed's, Reed's the one that said it, but he, he said specifically that I'm smarter than him, but it's fractional. But, but, but specifically, the reason why Reed is smarter than Tony Stark is because Tony Stark is like a multitasker. So he'll like get more to one thing and go to on to another one. And like Reed, Reed is more focused on one thing. Granted, it's still funny because he still hasn't made a time machine. But uh, no, 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 they have a time machine. No, no, I think I thought Reed had to borrow a time machine. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then Doom actually made one. Oh, no. Um. What, what was it? When Mark Millar took over Fantastic Four a few years ago, they uh, they started off the arc with them uh, going back in time. Uh, apparently, they went back to they were supposed to go back to 1954. Wait, if it's Mark, wait, if it's like a couple of years years ago, wouldn't that no offense, but wouldn't that be when like he basically like Reed basically became like a god maker, or like he became like a, a planet maker? Well, you know, Reed does a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I mean, I'm like, so if you like, if you're telling me that he finally made a time machine, but it took like borderline god powers, I'm like, okay, so you didn't make it. Oh no, 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 no! It was it was an actual machine. So apparently, um, they no, no, no I think I know I think I missed. I don't, I don't mean to cut you off, but I think I missed my point. I'm saying like he had to get basically nine omnipotent power. Oh, to, okay. even, to even build a time machine. Okay, okay, right. I, it, all right. I, I just thought it was cool because like, um, they started off like. <clears throat> they, were on a, they were on a train track like Back to the Future style and they were supposed to go back to 1954 when Disneyland uh, first opened for okay. their kids but they went to 1854 <laughs> and like and oh, everybody God, was just roasted like are you so stupid <laughs> why are we getting chased by a, by native, by Indians and cowboys <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> it's funny I bet, uh, I bet the people loved what Susan was wearing <laughs> Oh no no they were all they were all time appropriate. Oh like, yeah, like they, it was Mark Millar back in two thousand and eight I think. Oh uh, okay well then yeah sorry well then I well then I, I take 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 it back because I think like the whole Secret Wars Redux that was two thousand that might have been two thousand eight two thousand it was it was definitely before two thousand eight I'll, I'll say that much. Oh uh, yeah but it's uh, okay my my last question right. what did you guys read instead of Trash Wolverine. Uh, I read some um, I I I read I read all the X stuff minus minus like anything. I, yeah, I I like I'm an omnivore. I just eat all the books that catch my uh, catch my uh, attention. The only thing I got out of out of the X lives X deaths is okay. Uh, Mikhail's plan uh, failed. He's renounced Omega Red, and there was a big fight. Logan chopped, chopped uh, Omega Red up into stakes, and Moira is now an Omega Sentinel. Also, what I got from that is Wolverine and X Force are assholes. They did that to Omega Red, and they wonder why he went like he went after them. Whoa. Totally understandable. Well, yeah, and then I'm also Cantwell's Iron Man. I told you about. Um, he's done with making Tony the Iron God. Um, Patsy Wildcat talked him down. I'm like, oh, lovely, you're doing this. Uh, <laughs> um, it was really just rehashing a lot of the Who Is Tony Stark stuff. Slot did. And he's got all the juice out of him, but now, oh, guess what? Before he got hit with the power cosmic, Tony's a morphine addict now. Oh, geez. Oh, come morphine, 
a morphine addict now, and this is right before Cantwell's going to want to marry him, him, him and Patsy oh. together. So it's like, okay. And Korvac is like, oh, I've got you now. You're, you, you've got a part cause it. Wait, Stark? 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 Hmm. It's, you funny know, how, it's funny how they always want to make uh, Iron Man a villain. They, they, yeah. They, Tony's no just point. Tony's just on the ground sweating because he's going through morphine withdrawal. <laughs> Patsy's not around him because she's like doing something with the team Tony left in between getting the. Uh, it's just the Cantwell has the book all over ov- over the place, and I'm not collecting it, but I'm coming to it because I need to see the mental gymnastics of how he's going to try to get Tony cleaned up again. (laughs) Cause all right, you want to marry him, but the fans are going to want to see a Mrs. Stark um, taking care of a morphine addict. (laughs) Uh, MJ, what books were you reading? Uh, so I actually haven't read too many comics. So like I've been reading my one piece, but the one comic yeah. I read a couple of days ago. So I've been on a really big uh, Warhammer 40k binge recently, mostly oh, the Marvel books. That too. What and publication then, uh, company is that? Uh, Black Library, but they did not comic books. They just do normal books. But they just recently okay. dropped a comic book from Black Library, and it's called The Battle Sisters, and um, it's just a lot of booba. <laughs> and demons and booba and demons and booba and demons. <laughs> Don't forget the booba and the demons. Yeah, yes. Marvel, yeah, Marvel did a Warhammer comic too. It was Warhammer four thousand, like forty thousand. Oh, and um, I'm reading the Jed McKay Cle- Doctor Strange's Widow, being <laughs> the Sorcerer Supreme. I'm 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 reading that and uh, Moon Knight. Okay, uh, Moon Knight. Silver. Yeah, um, let's see. I didn't read anything. No, wait, is that true? Let's see. I don't think I read anything from Marvel this week. I did read something last week, but I'm blanking on. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I read. <laughs> I, I, I watched Bill's review, and I was like, it can't be that bad. I actually enjoyed it. It was, um, uh, it was uh, what if Miles Morales was Captain America? I was like, okay, let me go read that. I was like, you know what? I'm not mad. <laughs> so I was fine with it. What was the Thor one then? Is that the uh, next Thor, one? No, no, the Thor one's coming. That's going to be number three, I believe. Yeah. And then number four is going to be Hulk. So, but the second one is going to be what if he was Wolverine? I'm like, okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> Wait, hold on. As the Hulk, um, I don't. Would that count as offensive or something? It oh. just the angry black man. Wait. No, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm a. I don't know. I'm just no. He actually looks pretty good, like as the Hulk. Like he just like he because he like they. Well, one thing I'm appreciating with all these comics, even equal with, with all these uh, covers that like they they like keep him looking smooth. He has a nice he, he like he has a nice haircut. Like yeah yeah he, like he has a nice uh, lineup. <laughs> Are they making him green or black though when he goes green? Okay, good. That'd be weird. He looked. Right. He looked I mean, like they made him, I mean, they could have made him red. They could have made him red and black because there's a red Hulk. So no, there's yeah. a gray Hulk though. And like, stuff yeah. like that. So. I would rather him be red than gray. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I don't want to yeah. like Solomon I Bundy. at least want to see I, I at least want to see what they stretch around for yeah. the Thor one. Because that one that one looks cool. He just but it looks up. like like it looks like the Rainbow Bridge is just like the uh Manhattan Bridge. So I think that's right. Like what's I've well, been to New York twice, so I'm not sure which those bridge ones are in. easy though. Like Thor, you just you're not making him a Miles Thor Odinson, you're making him Thor. Wolverine, mm-hmm. if he has the bone claws, I don't understand because well, they said apparently what they said was like once again, I will have to read it. Like I, mean, I definitely am. Apparently, what they established is that like oh, he got like taken into the Weapon X program. So okay, like that's how they're doing. That's how they're explaining yeah, it. Hulk and Hulk in the same way. Like oh, he got hit with gamma radiation. So yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. My books. I started mm-hmm. reading. Um, Magic the the Magic Order by Mark Millar. Oh, okay. oh he's still writing. Yeah. Oh, this this book came. Yeah, it's I love it. It was like I think what because wasn't that like a Netflix comic basically? Like Netflix announced it as a comic. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I started reading Saga. Yeah. Let me tell you, so, mm-hmm. I'm on issue eight right now. Oh, oh, only eight, man. You gotta catch up, man. No, like, no, no. Like, I'm, I'm getting, no, no, no. Like I'm I'm reading a bunch. Um, something's killing the children. Batman, the the adventure continues. This mm-hmm. book called Canto, it's it's really sweet. 
Mm. Uh, Adventure Man, Dan Slott's Fantastic Four, Philadelphia, oh, and Mr. and Mrs. Oh, I'm getting That's started. I'm I'm getting started on that after I finish some back issues because the whole um, John and Abigail Adams as the vampire king and queen and no no that is so cool I I just finished it I'm on I'm on the second first book in the second arc when they talk about uh, his wife is now taking over like yeah it's but I'm telling you guys saga is so okay. it's okay. so creative yeah like I love. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, it, I, I, like, I'm like, why all is this a show? All I know about Saga, Silver Defuncted, so I, I don't know anything. I hey. remember watching, I remember reading, watching a review on it, and the guy says, apparently, okay, uh, I'm just gonna say it. The guy says right. Saga is, uh, apparently, it's an entire world of black people, and, and they, and they come up with a way to justify it. But then I was yeah. talking to Silver, and they're not all black, so I don't no. know. They're not all black. <laughs> Like, uh, Jack, Marco is like, supposed to be Hispanic. Uh, oh, see, I didn't even know this. Like, I know they're, I thought he was, see, I thought he was supposed to be Asian because, like, I thought his parents were Asian. Like, see, once again, like, so, like, the fact that we're, com- like, 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 the fact that we're confused is even better. I like, I think for Saga, I could be wrong, but I think the only particularly prominent person, like, like, prominent black person is, like, one girl, like, one, like, one woman. I, I don't yeah, see the, any- the mother. No, yeah. god damn it. No, oh, no, like, Gwendolyn. <laughs> Gwendolyn. Yeah. Because I think the mother might, I saw her as like Puerto Rican or like Afro-Latina. I mean, she might be Afro-Latina, but I think I see her more just like, like Hispanic, Latina, something like that. But yeah. But like I said, one, per, like one for sure. Everyone else is kind of like racially ambiguous. I, I it just, uh, like also I love uh, four. I, uh, yeah, Prince it, Robot it, four, it's, yeah. A, it's all good. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah I'm, I'm going to read Saga on the plane. Uh, if I get, I found out that one of my comic book stores in the Bay, they have a, they're doing like a, one of those blowout sales. So I'm going to try to see if I could pick up as my, as many trades of that as I can at 40% off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Immortal X-Men, how do we feel out of five? Yeah, I like it. Like I said, I think like at the beginning when I read it, I was ready to give it an eight. I think after like, I kind of stuck with me, it went down, but not, but not too bad. I give it a 7.5. Okay. Because like there was something, and also like I said, like as Corey said, and I'll say too, some of the art choice, like some, like it's weird because like though like Lucas Vernick, I believe his name, he's a really good artist, but right. some of them like his, he was not really keeping the proportions. Like there was one time when like Colossus was like hulking out, and then another panel, he's like, he's like slimmer. I'm like, you gotta, man, you gotta keep this thing like consistent. And then Kitty Pride's head is just off. I'm just like, some panel is just like her head is just her head. Is bigger than her neck. Like if, if it was her, her, her hand looks like a Pez dispenser. Basically, it was crazy. No. <laughs> all right. So uh, I'll give it um, a four, a four with the potential of being upgraded to a four point five next week. Okay. So it loses half a point for not properly explaining why Magneto left. I think that's a key point that we needed. Yeah. Maybe we'll get that in X Men Red. Yeah. We needed to know exactly why he's leaving and whatnot in this issue for anyone per- right. coming into brand new or, or, you know, maybe they missed a couple of the X-Men arcs and they're getting back into it. Um, and so it, it loses another half a point, maybe gains it back next week. I don't, I can't have Mr. Sinister be the smartest guy. It's just, I, I don't like it. Yeah, that, no, that, but, it, that's his hubris though. He always thinks he's the smartest guy. Yeah, like, he even uh, says that too. Um, no, but he is. He has all the information. He has time travel. He has everything, and nobody no, else has, knows. He has a version of time travel. Yeah. The fact like, that no, no one knows like a video he gamer. This, he just he's too much. I, I can't see anyone else's plans holding any spark to his plans. So no, but here, but here's the thing. Uh, Sinister reminds me of a gamer who, who's playing the same game, but he has like four different. Uh, Save files, yeah. yeah. Save files, it's, it's like, like, it's like, no, like, it's that. like, so it's a sinister, is like fifth time playing Elden Ring, and he chose to, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but that's my problem is that how can this be Game of Thrones if someone's already won the throne 10 times? But he's not winning, about, though, he's wait, not really winning. Can I say that about 
to be fair, like particular, once again, we're only talking about the TV show. We're not talking about, about the books, but we can't talk about the books because the books aren't good because the books, books, books will never be, be finished. Uh, so we got to use the show. Oh, yeah. like, can I say that? Can, can, can I say that technically with like Game of Thrones with almost any season? Because like technically speaking, the person on the throne is the person that like that one because like Robert Baratheon was, was on the throne at one point. Yeah. Then it was, uh, then it was Stan, uh, Joffrey. Stan, Joffrey. Then it was uh, uh, Tommen. Yeah, Tommen. And then like in the middle, there was, I forgot, uh, Tywin. Yeah, and, then Tywin. Uh, and also, <laughs> but, hold on, he was the power behind the throne. Cersei became the queen. And then Cersei, yeah, I can say the same thing. Like, oh, okay, well, like clearly, well, so since Cersei's at the sitting on the throne, then she's like, then she's like, then she she won, right? <laughs> you can make the argument about Tywin has put so many people on the throne that he it's not a game to him because he's right. fucking won it five times. Yeah, like times. Tywin would probably be in this metaphor. Tywin would probably be the be the sinister character. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, I can I can get behind that. I'm done. All right, you guys, thanks for showing up. Yeah. Uh, next week, we'll, we have a lot to talk about. We're back. Wait, like the right. gang is back. <laughs> like we need we need to get sunglasses. So like <laughs> or so I don't know. I tell you, we gotta tell you, we gotta get shirts. And the first shirt should be when we do the merch. The first shirt is magic is just science we don't understand. Hey and hey. and and storm is a goddess on the sleeve. And, well, no, no, we can have that you know. crossed out. Like we're just playing. <laughs> put it on the sleeve, man. Just, just on put the like cuff. storm. Just like put, put storm gods in question mark. Like we'll do that. Like so, storm, kinda. <laughs> kinda. Yeah. All right, fourteen oh seven, Great Mocking Lane. See you soon. Yeah.